Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about Bel Ameth, which is the new Night Elf City in patch 10.2.5, Seeds of Renewal. And this video is going to be a short guide on how to find all of the Night Elf themed treasures uh, on Bel Ameth Island or Amirdrasil or whatever you want to call it these days. But before we jump into all of the Transmog treasure hunting, just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR and more, I'm over on twitch.tv slash Mr. GM every single day. Right, so yes, Bel Ameth is the new Night Elf City coming in patch 10.2.5, uh, which releases on January 16th and January 17th, depending on your region. On this island to the left-hand side of the Inaran Plains on the map are 11 brand new treasures which contain Night Elf themed transmog. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you where all of them are. For this guide, you're gonna need the add-on TomTom and you can use one of their features, which is the paste feature. So down in the description below is gonna be a list of coordinates. What you wanna do next is type in the word slash TT paste in game uh, that'll bring up a text box you just paste that straight in there and that'll put all of the coordinates you need on the map uh, the rest of this video is going to be me showing you exactly where they are if you get a bit stuck with chapters and things like that so let's start in the middle of Bellameth. so over by the mining trainer and the blacksmith trainer uh, is the night elf shield transmog that will be leaning against a box just by the mining trainer nice and easy to get there uh, this is of course a new shield transmog uh, themed to night elves which is going to be something you're going to see a lot just across the way on the right right hand side of the map from there, uh, you'll see some sparring sentinels and leaning up against the building will be the Kelderai Spear. This will contain the Knight Elven Spear, which is a new polearm transmog. If you head slightly northeast from there, you'll see a Night Elf Watchtower. On the top of the tower, on top of a box next to the table with the map, uh, you'll see the Kelderai Horn. Inside there is a offhand transmog called the Night Elf Horn. A lot of the transmogs are offhands, but they're pretty cool. From that position, you want to head straight down south to where all of the portals are. You'll see a portal to Stormwind uh, and the Kelderai bag sitting outside the building on top of a barrel. This again will contain a offhand transport called the Blue Kelderai pouch, which is like a little uh, bag of something seeds probably who knows but it's blue and it's uh, an offhand transmog if we head directly south from there you'll see a point on the map and this is where the druids of the moon are uh, behind the table and chairs you'll see a item called the kelderai bedroll this contains the blue kelderai bedroll this is a 3d back piece transmog which doesn't really match anything at all but yeah if you want to have a bedroll on your back this is something you can get in 10 to 5. heading directly west from there you'll see a moonwell and an archway uh, at the bottom of the archway will be the kelderai bag this will contain the Violet Kelderai Pouch. This is again another offhand transmog. This is a purple recolor of the blue Kelderai Pouch that we did have a minute ago. Heading north from there, you'll go up to where Taranda is and on the east entrance to the platform there on the kind of like fire, you'll see an item called the Kelderai Horn. Uh, this will contain the Night Elf Signal, which once again is a offhand transmog. This is a recolor of the one we had a minute ago. So those are all of the transmogs in the city. We're now going to head out of the city and head right to the northern part of of the zone over to the Bellinar docks where we're going to find two more treasures. Once you get to the docks you want to go to the dock building and slightly up the stairs inside this building on a box you'll see the Kelderai backpack. This is a 3D backpack called the Blue Kelderai backpack. But yeah this is uh, the same theming as the bedroll but it is a backpack of course you can make that work with various different transmogs if you like. Uh, but yes a 3D backpack will be available from the Bellinar docks. While you're still at the docks you want to head up north from the docks and you want to head to the east side of the docks uh, to where the static ship is. Just as you get onto the ship on the archway, you'll see a box. And on top of that box is the Kelderai Spyglass. This contains the Kelderai Sentinel Spyglass, which once again is a offhand transmog, but it is a spyglass. So if you want to, you know, transmog as a night elf pirate in 1026, uh, when that pirate patch comes in, that's something you can do with the Kelderai Sentinel Spyglass. There are two more transmog treasures remaining on Bellameth. The first one's going to be in an area I've dubbed the Edgy Corner, which is where the Demon Hunters, the Warlocks, the Death Knights are all hanging out. This is a watchtower on the western side of the map. Uh, you'll see the coordinates of course if you put them in. So upstairs in the watchtower next to Talonis Nightbane is going to be the Calderai Dagger. This contains the Calderai Bone Carver which is a one-handed dagger transmog. So that's going to be there in the edgy corner for you. And our final transmog is going to be in the lodge on the western side of the map. This has been a bit iffy on the PTR. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But yeah, hopefully it's there when the game goes live. Uh, but this is going to be on the left-hand side of the building as you walk into the lodge, uh, just leaning up against the weapon rack. And this will contain the Kelderai Moonbow, which is a new bow transmog uh, themed to Night Elves. 
So that's all the 11 items around Bella Meth. A few things to note here, these can be picked up on multiple characters. So if you can't wield a shield, uh, you could do it on a warrior and then like, you know, learn the shield appearance. That's absolutely fine. Or alternatively, you can send them over to your alts as all of these items are account bound. Uh, also, you can pick these up and transmog them as horde. So if you are a horde, you will have to fly here manually. Alliance can use portals uh, in Stormwind to get here. But yeah, if you're horde, you can fly over here. You're not going to get attacked, but yeah, you can collect all the transmogs. Uh, and equip those night elf transmogs as well if you'd like to cosplay as a night elf um but yeah there you go that is all of the transmogs in bella meth coming in 10 to 5 hopefully you can go grab all of those remember just kind of stick the tom tom coordinates in fly around collect them if you don't want to do that just fly around and collect them that's what i did so it was super fun um to do so yeah have a look around and uh, enjoy the night elf transmogs but guys thank you very much for watching let me know down below what you think of these night elf transmogs bella meth 10 to 5 all of that good stuff if you like this video please do leave a like and and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, I'm also on Patreon and I'm on Twitter at MrGMYT and I have a partner Discord channel as well. And as mentioned, I am streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. I'm going to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR and more. I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.